Gone Home, developed by the Fulbright Company, originally released in 2013 on Steam. It was re-released earlier this month on the Switch, almost five years from its initial debut. Its own website describes it as an interactive exploration simulator. The game focuses on an immersive storytelling experience that is hard to put down once you begin. Even after managing to put down the controller, I would think about putting the pieces of the story together in my head. The game starts as your character comes home, after about a year abroad, to an empty house that your family recently moved into while you were away. It's your goal to find out where everybody is by exploring the house for yourself. If I had to compare it to something, it reminds me of older games like Myst or other point and click adventures, where you click on an item in hopes of finding clues about where to go next. However, this is definitely not a puzzle game and you can actually rush through this game in less than a minute after your first playthrough. Using the first person perspective effectively for immersion, the game seems simple on its surface but is amazingly deep and more effective at storytelling than any game I've played recently. The game doesn't hold your hand and outright explain what's going on, and instead allows the players to piece together the evidence for themselves. In total, I spent about 10 to 13 hours with the game during my three playthroughs. This game has a mature rating, which is not uncommon now on the Nintendo platform, but don't let that get you thinking that it's meant to be a scary game. The story does ultimately deal with mature themes, but these are universal themes that everyone goes through in life, or knows somebody that has gone through it. It does this while managing to feel intimate and deeply personal. The game is $15 and available on virtually every platform now. The Switch version does contain modifiers to the game that you could use on your first or subsequent playthroughs. These modifiers include the developer commentary, starting with all the lights on, unlocking all doors from the beginning, among other things. I would recommend starting with these modifiers off the first time, as I felt the more guided experience was perfect as it was. The game looks and plays great on the Switch, both docked and in handheld mode. I prefer to play the game in docked mode as I found it easier to read the various text on the bigger screen, which I found to be a little small on handheld mode. In my experience, I've never played a game quite like Gone Home, and I think it's a masterpiece for what it aims to do. Like other iconic games, Gone Home and its story is timeless even if you pick up the game another five years from now, and having the developer's commentary round out the experience was a satisfying addition. It might not suit everyone's taste, but I enjoyed every second of this game, and it will probably still be lingering in my mind for a long time to come. Thanks for joining me for this review. Check out the link in the description below for the full written review where I go into more detail about this game. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the game, or if you have yet to play it. As you can tell, I've been playing a lot of indie games recently and have been pleasantly surprised, so expect to see more in the future. Thanks again, see you guys in the next video. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye.